Huh, huh, huh. I know something about South Florida. All right. Well, you know, I hang out in Tampa. That's close enough. Anyway. All right. Get home. Um, my belief is that uh, that that our president has not decided uh, that there's going to be any war in Iraq, and so it seems to me that we'd be premature if we were thinking about which troops might be involved in uh, in which place. What we do know for sure is that we have made a commitment to train the Afghan National Army. We have made a commitment to continue to work enduring freedom operations here in Afghanistan for so long as is necessary to be sure that we don't see the reintroduction um, of large terrorist cells here in, uh, in Afghanistan the way we all saw them about a year ago. So we're going to continue that work and act. Right. Terrorism remains a concern in this region and in a great many other regions uh, on this planet. So we have a lot of work to do before we're going to satisfy ourselves that the enduring freedom part of the global war on terrorism is, uh, is finished. Doing a terrific job, and I mean that. It's an absolute fact. There is a tremendous amount. What we want to do with, it, with usable munitions and weapons is bring them in for use by, uh, by the Afghan National Army. Uh, we like what we see in the training of the Afghan National Army. We are hopeful that we're going to see incre increased uh, numbers in recruiting. I like the training scenarios that we see right now with the ANA. And uh, I, I, I sort of hesitate uh, to predict, but if I were going to predict, I'd say that we'll probably see increased and improved uh, multi-ethnic recruiting for the Afghan National Army in the months ahead. God bless you.